Hey guys, I'm Kirk. Welcome to Ancestors Legacy. And look at this beautiful s scenery over here. <laughs> and the badass song in the background. Oh yeah, you can hear that. Welcome to Ancestors Legacy. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, what is this game? This game is a squad-based real-time strategy with a strong focus on tactics. It came out a couple of days ago on Steam and I was lucky enough to get the preview key for free from the developers. So thank you for that. And uh, I played it for like five minutes just to test things out. So I don't know how it plays, how it goes, how good it is. Apparently it's pretty good. It's uh, what other people are saying. I've seen that uh, it has very positive Steam reviews uh, as far as those that have been reviewed by now so that is a good thing uh, but basically it's a it's a real-time strategy which is something I haven't played a lot in a long time but real-time strategies were one of the main things that I played as a kid like uh, Age of Empires 1 and 2 back in the end of the 90s so long time ago almost 20 years now but <laughs> Still, that's that's where I did my gaming as a kid. <clears throat> yes, okay. Well, we're gonna jump into Ancestor's Legacy. This is very reminiscent of... Um, what was that game called? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, Kingdom Come Deliverance. It's happening kinda in the same time period. And of course, medieval times always happen in Europe because that's what most people focus on. So we have four factions out here. We have Vikings. Kingdoms of the North, we have Anglo-Saxons, Kingdoms of Britannia, we have Germans, the Holy Roman Empire, and we have the Slavs, Kingdom of Poland, which, you know, our boy Robert comes from. If you are in the squirt, you should know who that is. And this, this bad boy is locked. I guess you need to do the first one, the Vikings first, play the campaign. As you can see, I can't even go to the further chapters. But we have an option. You have options always to play two different ones. We have Ulf Ironbeard over here, or we have Rurik, right? Two different boys. A Rurik is actually locked still, so we have to start with Ulf. <coughs> Anglo Saxons, we have Edward the Confessor and Harold the Second Goodwinson. Germans, we have Rudolf the First. The one is the other one is coming soon. And from the Slavs, we have Mieszko the First. Uh, Robert's gonna have to tell me how to properly pronounce this. I don't know if. This is how you pronounce it, but it sounds like Miashka to me, so uh, that's fine. Okay, there's some uh, bloody battles out here, as you can see. Anyway, let's uh, let's start with some Vikings out here. I want to try the game, and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this. Difficulty, I'm going to leave it normal. I think that's probably fine. Let's see what the game says. Of the Curse, on June 5th, 793 AD, Jarl Ulf Arenbeard, along with the other Jarls, set off for an invasive rally. With the goal of plundering the wealthy Lindisfarne Monastery. If you watched the Vikings uh, series, you, you, you have heard of this. Whilst at sea, however, they encounter a storm and Ulf's Drakars landed on the other side of the island near the Anglo-Saxon town of Bamberg. Well, is it Bambra? I don't know, possibly. Let's play the campaign, let's see how it works. On June 5th. 793. A storm was approaching the shores of the Kingdom of Northumbria. A few months earlier, Althing, the Council of Vikings, made the decision to plunder its largest abbey, the famous Lindisfarne. One of the leaders of this expedition was Jarl Ulf Anbeard, a stern but respected man among his people. However, it wasn't meant for all of the Northmen to reach Lindisfarne by the sea. A storm that hit the coast of Northumbria has scattered some of their ships miles away from their destination. Ulf's raiding party landed near a town called Bambara. The Northmen saw it as an easy target to plunder. Little did they know that all of Northumbria was just coming out of a bloody civil war. Troops of a new King Ethald were battling remnants of recently murdered King Osred's loyal army. For this reason, heavy garrisons were scattered throughout the country and one of them was stationed just outside Bambara. So it is Bambara. Good to know. Good to know. <clears throat> we are off the curse of the course, not curse, but also we are probably cursed. This is this is such a badass picture. Look at this. It's beautiful. I love it. 
Let's let's start a game. Training, of course. Of course, why wouldn't it be? I can't even read what this said, but okay. One C company. I can do that one. I can do that one. I know how to read sometimes. Bambra, June 5th, 793. Let's go, boys. This seems dangerous to me. There's rocks out there. Uh, guys, is that a Titanic? Well, looks like it. Hope you can swim, boys. I mean, if you could steer a bit, that 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 would be great. Don't say you didn't see that. Where the hell did the catapults come from now? <clears throat> what the actual hell? Wow. Wow. Give this guy a medal. Trust me, no one hits this. No one can actually hit with a trebuchet or a catapult. Uh, ship floating in the darkness. No lights or anything. You can't. Wow, this is a nice landing. This guy would fall with that landing was like this. Looks like these guys with the pikes do not actually care, which is understandable. Yes, I agree. Let's go. Do I do not care about the archers, of course. That's what he said. They're shooting me in the face, but I do not care. Also, <clears throat> may I ask, how is that uh, place already on fire out here? How is this already on fire? <laughs> they probably hit their own stuff with the trebuchet. We do have a badass over here, as you can see. He is uh, doing some things with his uh, long axe that I would not imagine possible. The way he swings it sometimes. Uh, it's It has a too... The handle is a bit too long for some of the maneuvers he did early on. But you know what? That is fine. He's an absolute badass. And he's gonna kill everyone and everything. Or not. Or not. Yeah. That sucks. You see? This is the legacy of our ancestors. Kill or be killed. Thank you for that uh, legacy. Legacy, my dear ancestors. If you say so, okay, hover your mouse over uh, the squad and click it, or we can drag, I guess. Right click to... Yeah, let's go, boys. So this is apparently very much uh, tactical. Am I good at tactics? Yes. If I can pause the combat, I am very good at tactics. Real-time strategy? Not so much. There's my boy, Ulf. Uh, he's a leader of the Northmen. He took part in the Slytherin Svar stuff. But there is a promising settlement to plunder. Okay. Yeah, Ulf, let's go. I uh, lowered the settings to high. I had it on ultra earlier, and this rain actually caused a bit of lag issues. So it's probably looks because like I'm recording as well. Yeah, looks like it. It's probably because I'm recording, so I put it down to high. It still looks beautiful, at least to me. Should be another way along the shore. You see, that's that, that's the positive attitude that I appreciate in this people. Now we're attacking this. We've never been here before, but you know what? There should be another uh, another place, another way along the shore. Surely these guys didn't think of this. Surely they they, they built the wall just over here, right? And nothing else. Or Ulf, you were a bit fast. Would you go with the others? Um, can I do? Ooh. Manage the, manage the villages. Wow, cool. So we have to go over here, I believe, to flank out here. Yes, yes. Okay, this is uh, as far as I played so far. This is as far as I played, and I did not watch the the opening uh, sequence because I didn't want to spoil myself. The spearman is like. Okay. Let's charge, boys. We need to help Forward. Yeah, or squad is under attack. Enemy squad spotted. Those guys are helping. Oh, we are outnumbered them. Nice. Nice. Now I should stop just clicking away the tooltips. Really and the way. we have four squads now, boys. Four squads. 
So we have the shield bearers, we have Ulf over here, we have the spear raiders, and another set of shield bearers. I appreciate that. I would like to have like a select flank and charge. Okay, charge those guys. Charge them. Wrong boys. I would really appreciate if I could actually set them up how I want them, like shield bearers in front, spears behind them, and then Ulf probably in the middle just to cheer them up. <laughs> All those guys got destroyed. There's some reinforcements coming. <clears throat> Go destroy them. Yeah, we gotta route them. We go and route them. Ulf, you're ignoring everything? I see that. Okay, focus on this squad. Come on, let's let's go. Can I like position you to go back here? No. Okay. Never mind. I was hoping that like someone back here. These guys are just these guys were just shooting down here. Oh. Okay. My boys are charging in. Yeah, sorry, this is carnage. <laughs> okay, what I was hoping since this is Okay, we're gonna destroy the village now. Okay. So this is uh, this is the usual that you would see. Reinforcements will spawn from the buildings. It stopped raining! I don't think it actually stopped raining. Everything down. Yeah. Thank you, gods, for letting us burn everything down. This is a house. Now we have three places that we have to destroy. Let's go over here. Uh, let's uh, pick this guy up. Charge them. No mercy. We are uh, outnumbering them, so this shouldn't be a problem, really. Okay, just pull over here. You guys, focus on those guys out here. They're having reinforcements. Yeah, the shield bearers are helping over here, but we have archers in behind. Ulf is just... Where is Ulf? Ulf? Oh, you're in the middle out there. Okay. Ulf must not die. My shield bearers and axemen are doing well there. Ulf, you're coming over here. The shield bearers, you guys go destroy that thing. Oh, destroy and build the green barrier, the building indicates its health. Yeah, I would expect that. There's some archers. Kill the archers. You should be able to destroy them easy enough. Ulf, come help kill the archers. Oh, this guy's just attacking the cottage. Now come over here. Burn that thing. Okay, my archers are helping. That cottage is burning. One building at a time, boys. One building at a time. Hey, hey, hey. Stop shooting the warehouse. They're destroying the warehouse as well. Alrighty, then. Yes, I am destroying the buildings. Good. Well, you have destroyed the warehouse as well. That's fine. Hey, stop it. Oh, those guys are doing that thing. Okay, we have a barracks over here. Uh, there is a squad of shield bearers spawning out here. That's fine. Where's my other shield bearer squad? There it is. Uh, I should maybe put them over here if we get charged with this, guys. Doesn't look like we're gonna get. So this is fine. My people are not taking much damage. This guy's, this guy's got damaged a bit, but it's nothing bad, really. Okay, they are outmaneuvered and flying. Let's destroy this. This villager is just plain stupid. Yeah, I mean, if I were you... I would just run over here, climb this wall, or run over here and jump into this mire and just try to get out as fast as possible. Unless, yeah, there's walls as well out here. Probably not jumping in this mire. That's probably not a good idea. Destroy the key buildings, yes. The barracks. Now let's go. Let's position out here. Looks like some of my people, the other allies, are already uh, going for that side. You're done waiting? Really? There's some pikes out here. Wolf is just going <laughs> crazy in here. Charge blocked because we can't... Okay, you guys, can you focus on this spearman? All I need to do is just click on the banner. That's good. Uh, they can't because this is a press over here. And really... Imagine fighting in a place like this, huh? We're just smashed together. Everyone's stabbing everyone. Squad is under attack. Oh, you don't say. You don't say that squad. squad. <laughs> we have a squad under attack, boys. A squad is under attack. Okay, those guys are down. Let's attack those guys. Okay, they're destroyed. Destroy the church, please. That is important. Churches important to destroy. Do they spawn anything? Priest is gonna heal anyone? Ulf does not care about firing anything. Ulf. 
Where you at, boy? Well, he doesn't care about that church. Good. We've done it. Ulf has to survive. Well, he's still alive. Now what? Oh, you want to burn me more? Burn more stuff? We'll go burn the warehouse. Good. Who? Brace yourselves! They're coming in great numbers. What is great numbers? Please explain. Do you, can you count? This is not such great numbers, but they do have pikes. I see they have some uh, trike shields. This is where we're gonna position ourselves. Okay. Stances. Yes, this is what I was looking for. Press the charge stance toggle button in the squad menu to to change formations. Okay, yes, defensive position. That's what I wanted. This is what I was looking for earlier. This is fine. Um, the spearman probably needs some help out here. Yes. Okay, they're going that way. Spearman, wait, you wait, you wait, and then you're gonna flank. Now flank. Okay. We have to retreat. Okay. Click retreat in the squad menu to fall back to safety. Well, that's easy enough, I guess. Well, we're going to woods. We have blue shirts on, so I'm sure no one can mess with us. Okay, I haven't actually uh, unlocked an achievement. Ulf has survived. So, chapter complete. Well, continue then. I guess this is more of a tutorial chapter. Easy enough, but it's a story mode as well, so let's... I appreciate that very much. Overwhelmed by the forces of the enemy, cut off from their ships, the Northmen had to escape. Those who did not retreat in time lost their lives or became captives. Once harsh invaders looking for prey, the Northmen suddenly became prey themselves. So uh, Anglo-Saxon are extremely Luckily, ugly. They found salvation in a nearby forest, which became their temporary shelter. Here, they could catch a moment of respite from the pursuing Britons. Here, Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, who suffered injuries during the fight, could heal his wounds and recover. However, a new problem arose for the people of the Are North. you doing rats? Nom In nom order nom. to survive and to have any chance to join the rest of the expedition against Lindisfarne, they had to gather food and supplies. Now the RTS starts. Hell yeah, good stuff. I'm not. I don't know if you noticed, but this art really reminds me of Darkest Dungeon. Not this one, but the like the story art. Okay, we're building forces. After destroying the town of Bambra and retreating from the, excuse me, retreating from the overwhelming enemy's forces, the Viking survivors hid in the woods, trying to survive. Their main goal was to free their captured comrades and build the army. Let's go. Warren Mill Forests, June 6, 793. It's like the next day. You made it! Good to see you alive, Jarl. We retreated as soon as they started winning the battle in the village. We lost many good men in there, and many were taken hostage. Tonight, they dine in Valhalla. Look! It's our scout! He's back! I found food supplies. There is a farm and a hunting hut north from here. If we plunder both places, we will have food. For many days. Someone give we this guy a shirt, please. Go. We need to patch our wounds. Take care of your warriors, brother. I'll get those supplies. Okay, my spearman's gonna get surpri uh, su surprise. So we have three spearmen right now. Keep it quiet. That's cool. There's a lot of enemies nearby. I'll be scouting the nearby area. All right, he's gonna be scouting nearby area. And I think this, before we start this uh, second chapter, I'm gonna stop it here and we're gonna continue the next episode. So this is the first part of the series. I don't know yet how long this is gonna go on for. That very much depends on how much you guys wanna watch it. Now, if you don't actually wanna watch it, I'm gonna record maybe three, five episodes and call it a day. Say, let's, this is gonna be a let's try series. If not, if you guys wanna watch it, wanna see more, then we can turn into a proper let's play and go through chapters, check out the others as well. So, tell me, what do you want to see? Do you want to see more? Do you want to see less? Uh, please share with your friends, since this is the first part of the series, of course. It really helps if you click that like button and all that kinds of good stuff. And of course, if you are new to the channel, please join our Discord server. We also have fun there, which is, well, subjective, I guess. Fun is subjective. 
But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Should like, subscribe, and see more. Do magic, and I'll see you next time. Kirk out.